Welcome to MFS Media. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the MMP Shield chambered in the wonderful 9mm. Now before we go completely into the handgun here, I just want to give you a quick update on the channel. Uh, first off, I just want to say I do apologize for last week. I did mean to upload a video on Friday, but I had some issues with the tripod and had to order extra parts for it. Obviously, this is now fixed. Um, also, with that being said, I have two other things. We now have a Facebook page um, that will have updates, you know, photos, videos, extra Facebook videos on there. I have also good deal alerts when it comes to when I find something good on Amazon or something along those lines. And that will be at MF Supplies Media. Be right about there. Also be down in the description. Um, and then we also have an Instagram page now, and that's going to be mfs.media. It's going to be right here. Also going to be down in the description. Check that out. Have short little clips and pictures of things that's going on with the channel. Um, so with that being said, let's you know let's get down and review this this handgun here. All right, so here's what we got is the obviously the Smith and Wesson MMP shield. Um, this is the box that it comes in. Uh, very made in the USA. Let's open it up. So comes with two magazines to start off with comes with an eight round magazine with a pinking extension. I'll show you that here in just a second. Then it comes with a seven round magazine, which is the flush fit magazine, which is designed for quote unquote deep concealment. Um, let's put those off to the side. Also in the box, get a, a lock that uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't use those. So um, then we got the gun itself. Um, so let's take this out here. Let's put the box away. Here we got the gun. So let's go over the specs of the gun real quick and then we'll talk about some other things. Specs, the length of the gun is going to be 6.1 inches. The height of the gun is going to be 4.1 inches. The weight of the gun is gonna come at a hefty 19 ounces. Um, also, with that being said, it is going to uh, have a, let's open it up here, stainless steel barrel. Comes apart really easily. I'll show you that here in a couple minutes also. Um, comes with a six and a half plus or minus trigger pull. Like so. Um, let's put in the extended mag. Let's take out the round here. So if you notice, right there, pinky comes down, across, perfect, like so. This is personally, um, I think this is great for uh, wintertime, that sort of thing. But personally, when I'm carrying in the summertime, when I'm wearing lighter clothing, I'm not going to take the rounds out, but it's not going to fire. I'm not going to chamber anything. Uh, this is how it's supposed to fit, whether you're doing inside the waistband or you're doing... Uh, outside the waistband. So let's compare it to another firearm, a Glock 17 to kind of show off how small it is compared comparatively to a full size handgun. So right here we got the Glock 17 Gen 2, a beefy gun, especially compared to the Smith & Wesson shield. As you can see, much thinner the shield is. Obviously the shield is a single stack, whereas the Glock 17 is a double stack. Much shorter, much uh, shorter, you know, lengthwise and um, its height. Uh, when it comes to trigger pull, they're, you know, actually roughly the same. Uh, obviously it's gonna fit better in your hands. This is a perfect winter time carry, especially if you're wearing a heavy coat. But this video is not about the Glock 17. This is about the MFP shield. So let's put this away. And let's take apart the MMP shield here. So once again, completely empty. Lock back the slide. Push down the little pin here. Pull the trigger. Comes apart, simple as that. Just like any modern quote unquote combat handgun these days. Now, take the guide rod out. 
and the barrel. Now you have yourself a field strip MMP shield. Uh, so to kind of go into what I, how long I've been using it, I've had it now for about two years. Um, I've probably fired about 500 rounds out of it. Every time I go to the range, I take this with me. I usually fire anywhere between 20 to 50 rounds every time I go to the range with it, just to make sure it's functioning and to get a little better with it. And lock it back down. Let's check, perfect. So this is a compact handgun designed for concealment. With that being said, it does not have, it's not designed for pinpoint accuracy. Now I could tell you, I can hit a man-sized target. The furthest I've shot this out to is like 20 yards and I'm hitting my target. It's not necessarily dead. <laughs> I don't know how to put this other than it's not pinpoint accurate, but you also only have a, I think a 3.5 or 3.3 inch barrel. So it's, once again, you're not going to get the best accuracy out of it like you would potentially a Glock 17 or a larger framed handgun. But it's still very formidable for deep concealment and being able to uh, defend your life or your loved ones. Moving on to kind of some of the accessories that uh, you can get for it. I personally only have one thing, but there's a bunch of stuff you can do. You can get new sights for it. There's hundreds and hundreds of holsters for them. For them. You can get talon grips here. You can actually get these little attachments that will give you a, uh, that clips onto the uh, trigger guard here and will give you a laser. I think that's pretty cool. I personally am a true believer of mastering the iron, iron sights before you add on an accessory like a laser. Um, so let me show you the holster that I use with it. This is the Black Ops Serpa. Um, I do not carry inside the waistband. I do not find it comfortable by any means necessary at this point. I haven't found a holster that's comfortable. So I use the Serpa holster, locks in place like so. And I just want to throw this out there. Super holsters are extremely safe. As long as you're not a damn idiot, you're going to be just fine. Comes out with the gun like so. When you press down, you'll be fine. Perfect. Locks in place. I got it at a cant and I wear it small on my back. With a shirt that's uh, over it, no one can see it. Perfect. So, um, yeah, once again, this comes with a seven round, eight round magazine. Other magazines are available. I'm gonna say they're about 20, 25 bucks a piece. You can get them directly off the Smith & Wesson web website um, and obviously many other websites. Um, so yeah, um, just want to throw out there one more time, 9mm is an amazing caliber. I love the 9mm round, works well for this. Now, that leads me into one quick thing. Now, with this being such a small handgun, and the 9mm isn't by any means a huge potent round, but I can tell you that there is a good amount of uh, recoil to contain with it being such a small handgun. Um, if you don't have strong wrist, your wrist will snap for sure. Go like that when you're firing it. Now, as long as you have strong wrist control and everything like that, it's easily manageable. Perfect for anybody in the household, especially if you train with it. So quick little edit real quick. One thing I want to mention when I was talking about the weight of this handgun, I just want to say, and when I say hefty, it's more like a joke. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty big for what it is, but I can tell you it's very comfortable to carry. I don't even notice it when uh, it's on my belt. Now, with that being said, encompassing everything that I've kind of said about the Smith & Wesson Shield um, in 9mm, I think it's overall a great handgun for concealment, and it's also a, it's a great everyday carry handgun. I don't think there's many out there that can beat it, especially at the price point now, since they came out with the new MMP 2.0, which is uh, seems to be, I haven't yet to fire it, but it seems to be a fantastic handgun. This one for the price, again, I don't think it can be, uh, no one can beat it at this price point. I want to say you can get them for, you can find them for like 250 and when they're having their rebates, you can get them for almost like 200 bucks. Um, so price point's great. Accuracy is acceptable. Weight 
is acceptable. Um, firepower, acceptable, nine millimeter. Again, it's an everyday carry gun for concealment. So you're not gonna get a double, for this particular gun, it's not designed for having a double stack and having as many rounds as possible, but you get a formidable amount, especially if you go with the extended grip here. Now to conclude all this, I just wanna say thank you all for joining in and tuning in to this video, watching it and uh, liking it if you wouldn't mind. Uh, remember to check out my Facebook page and the Instagram page and to comment, like, and subscribe this video. And if you have any other questions or if there's anything I can do for you guys, you guys, please let me know. Thank you very much.